All right, it's Tuesday today, and I have a very weird setup right here. And before I'm going to show you, I'm going to tell you not to do this at home. Don't do it. If you do it anyway, but despite me telling you not to, you're stupid, and it's your own goddamn fault if something happens. Because this is not the way it's supposed to be set up. It's a test. Because I talked about my UPS, and um, I have an idea of I'm gonna I'm gonna use that in the forest to play PS4. And um, unfortunately, my UPS didn't work, so it wouldn't turn on. Why wouldn't it do that? I had to test it, and unfortunately, the batteries are dead. But I still couldn't turn it on, whether or not the power was on. So. I'm going to see if it's the UPS uh, and the batteries or if it's just the batteries. So this is my current setup. Now this is my UPS, I've pulled out the batteries and um, I'm not going to waste money on buying new batteries if the UPS doesn't work. Now here is a car battery and a battery for my um, lawnmower, a rideable lawnmower. Um, and what you see here is, uh, well, if you are a electrician or any, well, you might, you might not like this. But that's again why I'm telling you not to do this. Uh, these batteries are not meant for a UPS, and um, even though it's not just the load, uh, it's still not recommendable because of. Uh, of uh, the danger of the acid um, and and the vaporing acid and stuff like that. So um, ne again, never serial connect or parallel connect batteries that are different kinds. Um, these are 212 volts, but this is a 20 28 amp hours, and this is a 62 amp hours. So. This one has a lot more juice in it, um, so basically you can you can ruin that battery. But I'm willing to take the risk. Uh, I'm going to test it out. So what you see, uh, you have this jumper cable. It's connected to the positive connector of the UPS, and that's normally where the battery of uh, the the UPS would be. Um, and that wire goes all the way to the positive connection the car battery here and because this UPS takes 24 volts um, I'm connecting it in serial with this battery and I'm using aluminum foil uh, to get a good connection and then I'm using these two pliers from uh, welding pliers to, um, to keep the contact pretty good between them um, and then another jumper cable from the from a negative uh, of the of the lawnmower battery and it goes wait for it back to the negative connector on the UPS right so basically that is just the circuit that would normally be inside the UPS now the white wires they're actually outlets from the UPS so they go to this four-way plug here and, um, and that goes to my PS4 now I, you're gonna say that it that it's foolish of me just to do this. I might break my PS4, but I'm pretty confident that the UPS would not break it on unless the UPS is broken and it'll feed it. Well, I don't know uh, the wrong voltage or something. But basically, uh, I'm willing to to risk it. And then I have the uh, this uh, computer monitor here that's connected directly uh, from this uh, white wire and then it goes to the UPS like before. And the, that black wire here is the, is the source for the UPS. And that normally goes into the, um, uh, into the power outlet. So I can't turn this on without it having power. So it's only working if, I'm, if this is connected to power. And then suddenly there might be a power shortage and, uh, and then the UPS would, would uh, quickly switch to the batteries so that the PS4 wouldn't have any problem um, staying on. So, right, let's test it. All right, so now the UPS is connected to the power line through this 
uh, adapter here. And um, yeah, it didn't explode yet, so I'm confident that something good is come, gonna come out of this. Uh, one more thing, I'm doing this outside, and I'm doing it because of the danger that could be related to this, so um, yeah. Here goes nothing. Oh, it's not turning on. It seems to be working. Look at the look at the screen. It just started up. Huh. Cool. Okay, so now it's showing me how much battery there is. And, and right now it's connected directly to the power line. So basically I should be able to turn on the PS4 now. So let's do that. So I have my PS4 controller here and um, it's turning on and that's not surprising though because um, right now it's just basically connected to the power line. Now the exciting part come when I'm going to unplug the UPS and hopefully the PS4 would stay on. I will disconnect the power for the UPS. Would you look at that? Power is out. It's beeping because it's warning us that the main power source just uh, just disconnected. So at the moment, you can see here. It's um, using the batteries. There is no power from the power line. The batteries are in use, and you have three lines from the, on the battery there. So basically, what is powering the PS4 and the screen at the moment are these two batteries. So what this is telling me is that the UPS is working fine. I just need some new batteries, so I can just order them online without any worries. This also means that I can take this UPS with me and um, into the forest and try to do some PS4 gaming there. So we're going to do that in another video. All right, so let's order the battery. Earlier today, I googled that battery for that UPS. I found a battery pack with two batteries in. Yeah, that should be enough for the UPS. Let's see. Yeah, I think it was this one. Yeah, you get two batteries. Uh, it's a 12 amp hour battery. Well, it's two 12 amp hour batteries, so we have 24 amp hours in total. So we're gonna order that. And um, yeah, let's see uh, when it get here. Probably the day after tomorrow, so uh, see you in a bit. Hello. I'm just on my way back from a meeting uh, regarding making videos in a uh, professional environment. Um, so, uh, and I got dro dropped off at the meeting room uh, by my colleague. So uh, I decided to walk back in this beautiful weather. I just received a message that my uh, package is ready to be collected. So. I'm off work in about two hours and then we're going to collect it. I'm going home on a Thursday afternoon when it's sunny weather. It is so tedious to drive home from work when you're tired. Hi. 
Has it? Ah, so we just collected the package. Let's go and unbox it. All right, so about the unboxing. There's really not that much to it, and uh, let's just do it, because we know what's in there. there. There's just batteries, maybe a small user guide on how to install them properly or something like that, so. Right, there's the invoice. Ah, right, and that's the batteries. So, they are each 12 volts and 12 amp hours. Uh, let's just see there. First of all, let's just check them with my uh, multimeter to see how much power there is actually in here at the moment. Um, we can't really um, we can't really determine how much is in there, but we can determine how much um, the voltage is at the moment. So let me just get my multimeter. All right, so this is my multimeter. So we're going to turn that to 20 volts uh, in in DC. So uh, direct current. Uh, let's just put this here. And we can see, we connect this to the positive pole and this to the negative. There, you see, it's 12.87. So that's, that's a decent amount of voltage. So um, it's probably not charged up fully, but I reckon that it's the same for this one. So yeah, a bit more, 12.95. So. That's that's cool. Let's just um, let's just uh, try to install it in the UPS then. You see, that's the old battery, so it's about the same size. Uh, right. So let's uh, get this inside. It's quite heavy still. Uh, we need to disconnect it though. Like that. And yeah, I know I can't do that. The batteries. They come in at so the batteries are installed at the front of the UPS now what we have to remember is that it might be a tight squeeze to get them in there you see we have to use this which is a connector for the two batteries uh, remember that you have to connect this to a positive and a negative since this is connected in serial uh, if you look at this these wires you can see the red wire is, is a bit longer than the, the, the black wire, which is the negative. The battery has to be put in like this, since the negative polarity has to be in there so that the wire can reach it properly. And I just forgot something for these because these one have plastic covers on them and um, I pulled them off for, uh, for the test uh, that you saw earlier in the video. So let me just get them. So here they are one for the red wire and I can't remember where or how it was mounted so I guess there we go so trying to get this one in there connecting this like that I'm not sure if it's the right way but it doesn't really matter I'm just concerned about the plastic parts but as long as they're protected. They're not really protected like that. Something's different. Let me take a look at... Let me, wait a minute, I'm gonna get something else. The old batteries had these on. So these goes right over the positive here. Like that. Be sure to connect the red to the black so it's in the serial. I know I said it before, but just in case, I want to be sure that put this one on. Pull in there. So, oh, this one fell off. So the spark is normal. I think it's in there. So basically. We should be able to test it now. 
and it's working. Wow. Right, now we just have to assemble the rest of the UPS. So this is the cover for the UPS and uh, it's connected by six uh, screws in the bottom of the UPS. Here are the six screws. We're gonna wait with that. We're gonna pull this up and then we have this front cover here. Oh no, screws flying all over the place. This is connected in these two um, hinges down there and it's connected with these two screws here. Before doing that, we have to secure these two, these slides here. Uh, these are loose. Uh, these are supposed to hold the battery in place. So by turning the UPS on its side, like that, and putting Right, so now we are ready to connect the front panel. To do this, you have to lift up the UPS so you can put these two in the hinges and then you turn this up. This is now connected in the bottom of the UPS. So I just have to... The front panel is now ready to, to be connected. And that's basically uh, really easy. You see these four black parts. You have corresponding black um, plastic parts in this. And uh, these here has to go inside the plastic here. And in there. So again, lift up the front of the UPS, put them in there. And that's about it. It's supposed to go on like that. I do not like tipping it on its side, even though the batteries in there are supposed to be sealed. So what I do is I take a table and then I put this on the edge of the table so I can actually screw it in from, from underneath. So basically I found this uh, milking stool that the camera was attached to and just put it on there like that. Be careful not to put this too much over the edge because then it will fall down and it's really heavy and you'll probably hurt yourself and probably make a dent in your floor or something like that. So this in place here. The other side so we can get the other three screws in. So now the UPS is assembled. Let's put some power in it. So this has AC power. And there we go, it's powered on. All right guys, so thank you for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please press the like button or make a comment if you like. If you disliked it, that's okay. Tell me what I did wrong. And um, yeah, be sure to stay tuned because I'm gonna test this UPS in a, another environment. I'm gonna take it to the forest and I'm gonna play a PS4 and see how that's gonna go. So. Uh, Yes, Jay, stay tuned for the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.